Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a butterfly. I'm going to do the demo in this multicolored one, and at the end of the video I'll tell you how I did these two. So let's get started. I'm working with Red Heart Comfort Yarn, which is the same as Super Saver, and a 55 millimeter crochet hook. I post new videos on Tuesday and Friday in the morning. You may not receive an email, but you can always find it in your subscription box on the top left of your screen. And if you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. Start with a slip knot. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Slip stitch to join in the very first chain, and that will form a ring. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and that takes the place of the first double crochet. Now I need nine more double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it into the center, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Now that's the equivalent of two, so I'm going to go ahead and make eight more double crochet in the ring. Okay, I've gone ahead. I have ten double crochet in the ring. Slip stitch to join in the top of that chain two. And fasten off. And that's what I have. Tie these into a square knot. And I'm going to keep the knot right along the edge. And I'm just tying it off to get rid of these yarn ends so they won't be in my way. Prim that off. Now I'm going to attach blue and I'll pull it right through that very first stitch and I'm going to lock it in with both the yarn end and the working yarn and take one more chain stitch. Now that takes the place of the first double crochet. So now I'm going to double crochet in the next two stitches. One and in the next stitch that's two and in the next four stitches, I'm going to make three double crochet. So in this stitch, three double crochet. One, two, three. In the next stitch, three. One, two, three. Now three in here and three in here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the remaining three stitches. One, two, and three. And I'm not going to slip stitch to join. Fasten off like that and tie these into a square knot and trim off the ends. And that's what that looks like. And now I'm going to attach black. So on this row I mark my center stitch. So I'm going to come down to this first stitch, pull in my black, lock it in, and I'm going to single crochet in the first three stitches. So that was one, two, and three. Now I'm going to make two single crochet in each one of these stitches. So single crochet, single crochet. So one, two, one, two, one, Two. One, two. Now I'll remove that. Now here I'm going to make a peak on my wing, so I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to slip stitch into that top of that single crochet, and then I'm going to make two single crochet in this stitch. And I'm going to make two single crochet around, but I'm only going to make one in the final three. So I'll just hold my finger here. And I'm going to make two single crochet in each of the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. So two and two. One. 
Okay, and then one single crochet in the final three stitches. One, two, and three. And that's what that will look like. And I can fasten off and tie these yarn ends together. Okay, so that's one wing. And I'm going to go ahead and make another one. To make the smaller wing, I'm going to do the same thing as here. Start with a slip knot, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch to join, chain two, one, two, make nine more double crochet in the ring. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Like that. And I mark my center stitch. I'm going to attach my black yarn in that first stitch. And that will take the place of the first single crochet. Single crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm going to make two single crochet in each stitch up to here. So one, two. One, two, one, two, and chain three. One, two, three, slip stitch in the top of that last single crochet. Now make two single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then just one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches, and slip stitch into that stitch, and fasten off. Tie them into a square knot, and trim. So I have my large wing, and my small wing. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to make one more of each of these. Okay, I have my two large wings and my two small wings, and I threaded a yarn needle with some black yarn. And I'm going to attach this wing and this wing. So I'm just going to weave through here, like that. And then I'm going to take an extra stitch here. And then I'm going to weave back down. And just take a couple of over stitches just to enclose all those yarn ends in. Just going to take a couple of stitches there like that and then I'm going to attach these two so I'm going to come right over to the other side and I'm going to weave through. Take one extra stitch there so I'm going to weave through here and I'm going to attach it to this one and then over here to this one. That's what that looks like. And for the body, I'm going to leave a long yarn in and I'm going to make a chain that's twice as long as this body section. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a chain And I'm going to fasten off with the long yarn in. So that's the body section. So I'm just going to wrap this around and I'm going to tie a square knot up here. Tie a knot in each one of these ends of this yarn. And I have a needle threaded with black yarn and I'm going to stitch through. To attach that body to the center. Like that. And then just weave that yarn back in. And trim it off. Okay, so that is how you would do this large one. Now if you're doing a smaller butterfly. I did this one with a size 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and I used Bernat Sport for that.
and I did it all in one solid color and if you're doing it all in the same color there's no need to bind off at the end and have the yarn ends you just turn and just continue working and for this little pink one I used this crochet cotton and a size 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and I did them in a the solid color for the body part for this one I used two strands and then I tied a knot at the end to make the antenna so there you go I hope you enjoy seeing how easy it is to crochet a butterfly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.